And this is my last point with which I would like Riveting is not the word. Give me 17 minutes to answer to 19 speakers. As candidates and member states alike labor through a dialogue that could sway who becomes United Nations Secretary General designate. The two hour interview process is grueling. If not for being a single candidate in a room full with hundreds of people, then for the question and answer format. Rounds of questions involve 10, 11 countries asking up to four questions each of the candidate, ranging from issues covering peace in the Middle East, implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, to balancing the UN budget. Yeah, I was saying. South Africa calls the process unique, more for its transparency than its viewing pleasure. For the very first time, member states are able to say, these are the candidates, this is what they are saying, and in a way, they can kind of influence the outcome of this process. Because at the end of the day, although it is the Security Council that will recommend to the General Assembly and the General Assembly appoints, at least the General Assembly would have participated in this exercise for the very first time in 70 years. How do you envisage dealing with the financing of peace support operations? How do you see the role of the SG in bringing justice uh, to victims of atrocity crimes. Thank you very much. Answers displaying the full complexity of the issues that face the UN chief, appealing to different interests in the room. The kind of personal traits that we're looking for, it's someone who's quite conversant with the issues around the UN, someone who can um, be the bridge between the South and the North, someone who can um, be a good advocate of the issues of the developing countries, uh, someone who will be able to at least be able to present the case for Africa in an environment where they are uh, uh, competing uh, uh, priorities within the United Nations. And while it's the Security Council that will finally recommend a candidate to the General Assembly to vote on, this process at the very least allows member states to get their feet wet before fully jumping in. Sherwin Bricepie's SABC News, New York.